You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. So we're going to be joined on the phone with our regular visitor Lucy from the Kent County Show. As always, it's great to have you uh, here on the show. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. So just to start off, you could give our listeners um, a brief overall introduction about the Kent County Show. Um, I think it, it's an incredible event. If you've never been, definitely come. This is our 88th year um, of running the event, 50-something event at the Detling Showground. So um, we have everything from general entertainment, food, flowers, gardens. Um, obviously, we have a huge number of livestock on site and our horse classes as well. Um, if you've never been, you will definitely find something that you find of interest when you get here. So tell us a bit more about the food hall. So the food hall this year, um, food has always been traditionally an incredibly important part of the show for us. We have moved it into the Clive Empson Exhibition Hall, so it's got a new home this year. Um, that's enabled us to increase that to, to 50 stands in there. So there are 50 different types, uh, 50 different food stands, uh, ranging from uh, Kent-based stands with selling organic tea. We've got wine. We've got um, vodka in there. We've got sauces made out of preserved lemons, ice cream, cakes and brownies. Um, but we also have some more international foods as well. We've got some French cheese and meats coming over. We've got French cider. Uh, we've got a local company that's selling South African biltong and uh, German salami as well. So there is a huge range of food in there, and I can only encourage as many visitors as possible to go into that area because um, it's the best place to, to taste some delicious food. Well, it certainly sounds uh, well worth a visit. I understand you've got the Garden Life Marquee. I was hoping you could tell us a bit more about that. We have. So we've amalgamated a few of our areas together. Um, historically, the Kent Beekeepers Association has always sat separately to the flowers and gardens that we have here. And it made sense to us to tell a, a whole story right the way through. So we've got the bees in there. We've got floral art. We've got the flower show. And then we've got the Kent Federation of Horticultural Societies as well. Uh, it's an absolutely stunning marquee. It's jam-packed with stands this year. There'll be flowers in there ranging from um, hostas and roses and bonsai fuchsias, uh, exotic plants, sweet peas. Uh, we've got some garden centres in there. The floral art classes, we've got over 70 entries into those. Uh, they're based on showtime. And again, if you've never seen those, the artistry in those floral arts uh, competitions is incredible. And I would love to be that creative, but uh, sadly, that's not my skill set. So um, yeah, definitely a place to visit. There's also a cafe in there. So you can have, sit and have a lovely cup of tea uh, surrounding the, with the flowers surrounding you. Um, and listen to the demonstration stage. So we've got some displays and talks in there, um, ranging from floral art right the way through to plant care and how you look after your garden. So tell us a bit more about the food and farming education area. That sounds interesting. Yeah, so this is an a, um, area that we've been developing over the last few years. Again, it's got a new home. Uh, this food and farming education area is in the Maidstone Exhibition Hall, which is uh, our building right in the centre of the showground. And in there, people will find everything from cooking demonstrations. Uh, so we've got a demonstration kitchen in there, so people will be able to look on the, on the Friday, the Diocese of Canterbury are holding their schools competition, which is entitled Kent is Delicious. Uh, so we will have three schools battling it out for the title of uh, the winner of Kent is Delicious for 2017. And then on the Saturday and Sunday, there's a range of demonstrations and talks led by Matthew Kearsey Lawson from Kent Fine Foods. Um, and those will include people like Hilary Steele, the comedy cook, uh, Dine Time. We've got Will Devlin, who's set up a really new, exciting pop-up restaurant called No Fixed Abode. Um, so I think there's some really great talks going on. Um, be interesting to see what they cook throughout the day. Also in that area, uh, visitors will be able to find a number of free activities. So uh, you can come along, you can uh, have a go on the smoothie bikes and, and pedal your way to a smoothie. 
uh, milk our cow blossom. Um, she she is quite <laughs> quite able to to be milked. Um, and then we also have bread baking in there. So there's lots of stuff going on. But we will also um, explain the story of us as a charity. We the Kent County Agricultural Society is the charity behind the Kent County Show, um, and we feel it's really important to tell our visitors exactly what we do, um, not just at the show but throughout the year. So there'll be some further information on that in there as well. Which is always interesting to know because often you do you visit the uh, Kent County Show and forget you know the the sort of what goes on behind the scenes and who's really involved in it all happening. Absolutely, yeah. The, I mean, the charity was set up in 1923, so we've got a long history with Kent, um, and we support a number of organisations, a number of individuals now as well through their degree courses. So um, all that kind of information will be in there, and visitors will be able to find out a bit more about what we do. So I was hoping you could tell us a bit more about the entertainment. So uh, we're jam-packed with entertainment and music and dance this year. We, um, our main ring entertainment is the Shetland Pony Grand National, and so that will be happening on all three days. Um, and the the children in that competition will race around the ring. Um, they, for them, it's serious. It's a competition. They are aiming to get through to the finals at Olympia Hall Show in London in the autumn. Um, we also have got the Spitfire flying over all three days. We've got Mr. and Mrs. Flora, who are beautiful stilt walkers who will walk around and visit uh, talk to our guests and visitors we've got um, T-Rex dinosaur show so dinosaurs are coming to Kent this year Um, they will be performing on the hour um, opposite our antiques and vintage village we've got free pony rides we've got some yarn bombing going on tighten the robots back we've got the fairground so yeah a huge amount of entertainment and then music and dance we've got a number of bands on site Um, the one I guess that would really interest your listeners is that the Sheppey St John ambulance band will be performing on the Sunday so uh, do come along and see them but um, yeah a huge range of music and, and entertainment across site I know you also want to cover a little bit about uh, security this year yeah sadly because of the, the recent events across the country um, we have had to look at our security protocols across site we, we meet regularly with a safety advisory group and we have been advised to do some bag searches on the way in so visitors will uh, may, do, may see some delays at the gates we're hoping not to delay too many people but um, we will be doing those so if visitors could just bring as little as possible to the show to to speed that up as much as possible was there anything else you'd like to cover or get over to our listeners um uh, tickets are still available for sale we we prepay price of 10 percent discount on the gate price they'll be available until midnight on the thursday the 6th of july so next thursday So just to refresh our listeners, uh, when and uh, where is it this year? So uh, the Kent County Show is the 7th, 8th and 9th of July and it's held at the Kent Showground which is at Detling just outside of Maidstone. As always, thank you very much for taking the time out to talk to us here at BRFM Bridge Radio. It really is uh, appreciated. Thank you and I look forward to seeing your listeners.